I've been asked a number of times recently what the differences are between Apple's health kit, care kit, and research kit technologies and where they're applicable. I wanted to give a quick overview of those different technologies and really try to highlight some of the differences. First off, when we look at Apple's health kit, what we're actually talking about is a secure health information database that's residing on the iPhone. So it's a place to store information securely where apps can get to it. Now, one of Apple's recently touted additions is the ability for health medical records, so my electronic medical record, from a variety of health systems participating today, that those records are able to actually be loaded into the iPhone in the HealthKit repository. So again, the best way to think of HealthKit is it's a repository on the phone itself. It's actually built into the iPhone and iOS. Now that information itself is protected in such a way that if there's an app that would like to have access to that information, it has to prompt the user and request permission. So fundamentally, there is a firewall around that health kit information that the app has to go through at the operating system level to get permission to access your information. And whether that is a medical record or whether that is information that is propagated into the same database by something like an Apple Watch. And that could be activity data, heart rate, heart rate data, etc. So again, HealthKit is focused on really being a repository that the user controls and that the app needs to request that user's permission to get to the information. CareKit is much more about managing care for folks. Uh, now, some of the key pieces of the technology, first off, is the ability to uh, ask users for information about their symptoms and take measurements. So the symptom and measurement tracker. So for example, did I take my diabetes medication today? Yes, I did. So that's really the tracker portion of CareKit. The next portion is insights, which is being able to show some of these measurements over time and help a user really understand how their care is going, how their condition is going. Now, these two types of libraries are available inside of CareKit such that an app can be created using the CareKit technologies more quickly. Now, CareKit itself is not a part of the operating system. It is a open source technology downloadable that people can use to build apps. That's different than HealthKit, which is actually built again into the operating system. Now that same app can then, uh, once the information has their user, expose that to their doctor, to the provider. Now the way that happens typically today, as far as the care kit defaults, is the user is able to generate a PDF report that then they're able to share with that provider. So that's email, texting, traditional communication mechanisms. Now there is a huge opportunity to take care kit enabled apps and work them into doctor workflows of today. Now this is gonna be one of those challenges for organizations to really look at, where's the right place for this information to come in? Is it using the EMR of today? Is it that information directly showing up? And if that's the case, well, then we're gonna to have to have a database for that EMR or for the system that that health system is using. And that app is gonna to want to send that information directly to it. And those are the kind of things that uh, organizations like LexTech help people think through of how might I integrate these technologies and where again does it fit in the workflow so that it's not just minimizing the disruption to the doctor, but really enabling them to have much better conversations with that patient. So this is an example of a care kit application providing that care plan and managing care between doctor's visits and then making that information available to the doctor. And that could be done either at a visit portion or potentially between visits if that's something that fits that doctor's workflow. Now the third technology that we're looking at here is Research Kit. And Research Kit, the expectation is that there is an app for a particular research study. And in that study, there are going to be a couple of steps that users need to go through. So the first is that they're gonna be enrolling and uh, the app is gonna be asking for their consent on potentially accessing some of that information, which means potentially some of that same health kit information that we talked about on the iPhone would be available to that research kit app. Consent from the user to say, yes, it's okay to send this particular information to the study. The user also filling out surveys and uh, allowing information to be collected from themselves. And then finally, performing tasks. And an example of this might be 
that I'm tapping on two spots on the screen as quickly as I can because the app is measuring my physical dexterity. So the idea here is actually having a user perform tasks that are helping researchers understand how is this patient responding, where are they at in their care cycle. This information is then collected and again available to researchers behind the scenes. Uh, now that database is not something that's built into research kit, so there's an integration again that needs to get created between the app itself and the database. So the fundamental difference between these three technologies are again health kit is a secure health database on the iPhone itself that apps can talk to request permission to access that health information. Care kit is fundamentally a toolkit for building managed care applications to help users manage their condition, help with their compliance in terms of taking medication and following through on that care plan, and also helping expose that information to their healthcare provider. And finally, Research Kit is really focused on information collection from a much broader set of individuals to help with research activities. I really hope that this helps to clarify the difference between these technologies. And if there's anything here you'd like to talk about in more detail to better understand how it might be more applicable to your organization, please reach out. I'd love to have a conversation.